Hey everybody, I just wanted to quickly review something I've been taking a peek at lately, which is the Project PhotoFly on Autodesk Labs. Uh, this is the new photo scene editor software that they've made available, and it allows you to take a series of photographs and convert them into a solid, or excuse me, a mesh model for visualization purposes. So let's just take a peek. Uh, before we do, though, and you can find the software on Autodesk Labs, just labs.autodesk.com. If you do a search for the photo scene editor in Google, you should be able to find it there as well. Now, once you've taken a series of photographs, and you can see I've got a bunch of them here that I can go ahead and select to kind of document a model or an object. These are essentially the photos from different perspectives and so on. And what the software is capable of doing is stitching each of the photographs together to understand where the cameras were located. So if we turn my cameras on and we zoom out a little ways, we can start to get an idea of where all these photos were taken. There's quite a few around the model. And as soon as I select any of them, it switches to that particular camera. Well, the software stitches those together and is able to compute what that 3D geometry would look like. And as you can see here, I've taken, oh, probably about 30 to 40 different photos, mostly just surrounding the object. And it was able to compute the models you see here. So just uh, go ahead and we'll rotate that around a little bit just so you can get an idea of what that looks like. Now it not only makes a mesh of that, but it also maps the textures onto the model directly from your photographs. So it's pretty cool to be able just to view that, but I was curious as to what can you do with this stuff? And one of the ideas I had was being able to take this type of geometry into other visualization or uh, other software for the purposes of maybe doing a factory floor integration and that type of thing. So I was able to export this data in a variety of different formats. Uh, the two I found most useful were the OBJ. And I used that to bring this into 3D Studio Max and the FBX, which I used to bring into Navisworks, part of Autodesk's factory design suite. So let's take a peek at those. So here the model is after I just imported it into 3D Studio Max Design. So this could definitely be used as part of an overall scene within 3D Studio Max. You could incorporate other models and insert other models from a variety of sources in here and use this as part of your scene. Now it might actually be something that you would uh, you know, maybe take photographs of other surrounding uh, maybe buildings or architecture or something like that and then have more accurate models that you've created yourself as the, the real geometry or you may just want to have props like I've got right here able to be inserted into a scene as well. So either way it might be a great way to get additional quality looking models into software like 3D Studio Max without doing all that heavy lifting of modeling and uh, doing all the, the visualization work with textures and, and lighting and paint and all that type of stuff on there. And if another possible use might be in the context of factory design type scenarios. Now, of course, I didn't take pictures of a building or the interior of a facility, but I imagine you could do the same thing, where if you take a bunch of a series of photographs of equipment in a facility and maybe you have to retrofit something into that, you could bring that facility data from the photo scene editor into Navisworks, where now I can also append in geometry from Inventor, for example, from AutoCAD 2D layouts, and a variety of other sources to visualize how all these integrate together. Another aspect of Navisworks would be to import 
uh, essentially point clouds from laser data scans, which essentially is giving you information very similar to the, the photo scene editor. It might just be a little, little bit more accurate in that case, though. But as far as quickly and cheaply getting a rough estimation of a space or an object, looks like this photo scene editor from Project Photofly on Autodesk Labs could end up being a very uh, useful utility if used at the appropriate time. So thank you for joining us in this edition of the Tata Technologies CAD Geek blog.